this video, we will be covering how to set the feeder house angle in order to achieve ideal performance out of the AirFlex. This procedure pertains to all SDX models along with model year 19 and newer standard AirFlex. To start off, fully retract the header tilt cylinder. With 100 psi in the system, the cutter bar will be at the top of its travel. At this point, the flex sensor should read 1.5 volts. If necessary, adjust the sensors by loosening the mounting bolts and rotating them in their mounting brackets. Next, reduce the pressure to 30 psi. Lower the header until the flex sensors read 2 volts. At this point, the transition plate should be even with the front of the lateral decks. Measure from the pivot point on the outside strut to the ground. This measurement needs to be 6 to 7 inches. If the measurement is more than 6 to 7 inches, the angle is too steep and will cause the guards to dig, while if the measurement is less than this length, the angle is too shallow and the rear of the paddle will drag. Adjust the feeder house angle on the combine as necessary. The header tilt cylinder can be used as an infield adjustment to suit ground conditions and operator needs. As a secondary check, you can mount an angle locator on the guard. The guard should have a downward angle of 0 to 5 degrees. There is a quick overview of how to set the feeder house angle on an AirFlex header. If you have any further questions, please refer to your operator's manual or contact your local honeybee dealer.